Hey, welcome back to my channel, Serenity Soul Invictus. I am shining. <laughs> Thank you for joining me, guys. Today I want to talk about something real quick. Yes, this is another video. This is another video, same day. Um, I want to talk about how to remove a virus or a toxic person from your from your life. Okay, and this is something that. I was meaning to talk about it for quite some time, but just getting around to it today, I was doing some recording and I accidentally deleted it. <laughs> so I'm going to talk about it right now. You guys, this is something that is not very easy for us to do often, more often than not. But we usually know when there is a toxic person, we they, they, they just train us. They train us. It's just like a, com a virus on a computer. You know, your hard drive is in overdrive because you have so many things going on all at once that you get so shut down, a blue screen, like, you know, crash. <laughs> so in order for you to remember now, in order for you to remove this toxic person, toxic, toxic people, you have to go back to the source. You got to look back and think in hindsight how you and them even got together, how they got into your life, how what attracted them to you at that particular time. And a lot of the times, it's easy to see when you look back in hindsight, it's really easy to see, oh, okay, well, yeah. Um, I told her this, or I told her that, or she know that I had uh, a friend who went to the same school or whatever, whatever it may be. It could be any example, just using an example, a vague example. But usually you have to trace back to the event or happening that took place, whereas this person now is totally clung to you because it's like you have something in common. This is your, this is your, your story, you know? Okay, let's just say, for instance, if you're dating somebody, right, in the past, and now you realize this person you can't get rid of, <laughs> you have to think about what you were doing that attracted you. First of all, what mindset were you in? Because the subconscious is what really does the, the behind the scenes work. This is what is actually doing the big work in attracting these people to your life. Okay, so think back about Perhaps you used to be so great at being yourself. You used to go and dance, I guess, or perform or whatever. Like, you know, you were this dynamic person that blew their mind. And like, you know, they said, oh, I've never seen anybody like you before. I've never met anyone like you. Um, you know, can I, can, I, can I talk? Can we get to know each other? Blah, blah, blah. Here it is, you now thinking your ego is going like, yeah, like, you know, <laughs> like, yeah, my shit's working, like, it works, you know, people love me. And so now you think you've got yourself a catch because you've attracted this person to you, you know, for you being yourself and all that good stuff. Then five, ten years from there, you can't get the nigga out of your life. <laughs> And you're still being yourself, but now he's changed, you're changed, and but you're stuck. The only way you're going to get rid of that person is to actually stop feeding into whatever he's feeding off of. The only way that you're going to actually be able to, to, to sever this toxic tie is to actually stop feeding it. You know, it's like a parasite. It's like, it's like something that you're giving off that they're feeding off of. You know, and that's what you need to stop. You need to starve them of whatever that is that they hunger for. That is what's going to get rid of them for good. Let's say, for instance, if you have a drinking buddy, let's just use that for an example, as an example. And every time you see this person, all you guys do ever is drink together. A lot of us know about those types of people. <laughs> All you guys do is drink. You don't have no other social activity that you engage in together. You just drink, strictly drink. The day, or smoke, let's say smoke. Smoking is a good one too. The day you decide to say, to tell that person, I don't drink anymore. I'm on a cleanse. Or I'm detoxing. Or no, I haven't had a drink in two months. I bet you, you see that person 
distance themselves more and more each and every day. Because why? What is there to do with you anymore? That's the only thing that you two had in common. That's what bonded you as friends in the first place was to drink. So now that you don't drink anymore, what the hell is the need to come around you anymore? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? It's just as simple as that, you guys. I have seen this situation occur time and time again with people. You say, okay, well, I don't smoke anymore. They disappear for years. I mean years. I'm telling you, this is no joke. And it's tough sometimes to it's tough sometimes to actually stop doing whatever it is that actually bonded you to. Not saying not I'm not saying talking about bad habits like smoking and drinking now. That was just those were just examples. Talking about anything that actually made a connection where you were able to make a connection. Just like if you stop going to church. <laughs> <laughs> you stop going to church, all your church friends are stopped. They're not your friends no more. Trust me. Trust me. They say, oh, yeah, she's a backslider. We don't talk to her no more. <laughs> Come, child. Like, you know, that is the way. That is the way to sever toxic ties. Okay? Cut the connection between the two of you, whatever that may be. And unfortunately, in some cases, people's only connection are children, you know? Or, or, or they have a home together or, or whatever, business or partnerships and things like that. That's difficult to cut. But there are ways. That where there's a will, there's always a way. You know, sit down, spend time actually focusing on, on what it is that keeps you two together. That keeps, what are you feeding on perhaps from that person as well? Because don't, don't forget now, it's a relationship. Even if it's a situationship, it's still a relationship of sorts. So you're actually feeding off of something from that person too that's keeping them engaged. This is what you have to actually stop. This is what is keeping you tied at the hips, <laughs> in other words. So guys, think about that. And if you like this video, leave me a comment, like, hit like, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification next to it, guys. That's going to notify you when I come back with some new topic or that I'm live and like I said leave some comments below let me know how you feel about this but this is a very important topic and we stay in toxic situationships far too long okay and I am about all about transformation I am a Scorpio Sun I am all about transformation I am all about actually destruction of things and rebuild okay that's what I do <laughs> <laughs> I'm not afraid, afraid to face the challenges and the darkness that some people are scared to venture into. I am never scared, all right? But this is what is, I think, the number one method for erasing toxic people from your life. With that being said, thanks for watching. I'm going to say peace out, all right? Get to work. <laughs> Because if you're watching this video, I'm sure there's some toxic people in your life that you just can't wait to get rid of. <laughs> so, until I come back with another great topic, I'm going to say peace out. Blessed be. Namaste, guys.